when you people, got the husk on when last people pick, doubt you, <laughs> it just it makes it so much sweeter. When Blitz Dota three picks ago called the last pick Huskar. You were doubting yourself. You were doubting yourself. You're like, uh, don't, I'm not sure if Huskar is that good against oh. Starblade. Choose Tranquil Boots if he wants it. So far, laning, uh, laning phase seems to be all liquid right now. Yeah, it really does. With uh, the Naga Siren stacking that off lane camp and mind control still getting something out of the lane while that stacking is happening. And then yeah. As long as Crow doesn't die, but as we say that, he is <laughs> definitely <laughs> going down. Alright, well. But this is the danger of the Huskar. As soon as he hits that level 6, he's got kill potential, and very few offlaners can just sit here for a while. Mikasa gonna be pushed back even more. A couple more auto attacks being swung his way. Yeah, and he might actually. Okay, he's definitely dead. He, when he popped the sprint. That's yeah, uh, I missed that one because DDC looks like he's also going to die here. Try to contest the rune up against Kuro, but he just gets ensnared and Fauna makes the rotation up. Yep, and that is the strength. You're going to be invading the Dire Jungle. Yes, exactly. So you're going to go up to that top lane, try and get a gank, take that tier 1, and, you know, open things up for yourself on yep. that side. Top tower is... Almost certainly going to go down as they might even make a move on mind control. Kuro can't stop this one. He's not level 6. All he can do is ensnare, but that's not going to matter. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Matumba Man gets the jump. Drops pretty low, but will be able to survive. And now he's got all that extra um, attack speed, so they can start beating on the tier 1 tower. Yeah. Or mind control. Looking for it. Not going to find him. Another uh, spirit comes in. He's going to go for the stomp. Oh, the Moonlight Shadow, the arrow, long range. He's going to land on the Roshan here. Looks like the Age is going to be picked up. Fauna with the interception. Going to get silence. Age is in the hands now of Team Liquid. And they're actually going to push forward, trying to force this fight. Going to go straight for N. Managed to get the Oracle ultimate off, which means N desperately needed to be able to get the swap face paint. He does two successfully. Long enough to be able to get a kill, maybe two. Fauna ends up going down because of that. No, no. Doesn't have a leap, though. And he's left burning in the flame. Not going to be able to get away. Matumba Man makes a leap onto his dead carcass. Not like there's any other kind of carcass anyway. DDC, Mind Control, oh, he's going to be stunned up. They can actually kill Mind Control, but it's probably going to cost them their lives. Ensnare goes down. Mikasa is going to die because of that one. FY did his best to slow down the progress of Team Liquid, but it did not matter. They were just not in position to really stop that Roshan from going down. And as soon as the Aegis was picked up by Team Liquid, out of this. Probably be well worth it, but I'm not sure how far they're willing to push it. It all comes up to this fight inside of the river. Mind Control almost getting popped there, but they managed to get off the Song of the Siren. Where's now the they can Matumba Man's not making his way down. They actually don't have the AOE abilities. They don't have the silence. Matumba Man isn't here in time. They've got the ensnare out on. No, no, he's going to go for the TP away. Do they have a stun? Oh, maybe just the damage. No, he healed himself inside the fountain. He's good. Team Liquid continue to move forward, but Liquid actually have to go back to base because End has already chipped this Tier 3 tower down to half. HP N does have a TP out, but mind control is there, ready to go with a flame break. So instead, N has to turn and fight oh, this out, but he doesn't have enough mana. One more mana, plus the one, but now he's silenced and no, couldn't get off the ult. Mikasa unable to save his ally. He gets at least mind control. DDC comes in. Oh, and with the finger at that, they blow up Fauna. Turn on Jarek, get him too. Matumba Man goes for the kill on DDC. If you stop, he is gonna live. The Fountain will heal him up enough, and they're even sticking around Mikasa. He's thinking. It's gonna be tough, though. They've got a Manta now on the Terra Blade. Yeah, he's gonna do work against his team. It's only gonna get worse later on, which is why Liquid are gonna try and force this anyway. Yeah, there's a relative lack of AoE from Liquid's side. The man needs some help, and he'll get it in the form of Oracle. He'll start healing him up, and he should be fine. Doesn't have enough for inner vitality, but he will heal up the full anyway. They managed to get the stun out of Kuroki, but they managed to save him for the magic damage. Still not enough for the Song of Siren to go down. Liquid have lost mode. one. Can they get more? Mikasa, he's going to be oh, the one looking forward to. It's actually DDC who gets the impale first. Fauna goes down yet again. Now the Tumba Man going to be caught. Immediately back the arrow. up as well. Into the arrow. A stomp down as well. Lion has some disables, but they're not even needed. Double kill for N. And VGR will now be the ones to push down some objectives. They are going to get so much out of that as well. They're just going to continue to push in as Mikasa might even find more. Mikasa, he just seems to know what's up. He's gonna have his link up in one second. The arrow is gonna miss. No, not in time. Asian may now have a blink dagger on Marana. The stomp lands. No arrow follow up. Not yet, anyway. 
They're gonna contest this though, no matter what. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, unless Crow just just took question. The other play is Crow could just song at the siren. Yeah. Oh, and he's about to up on the clock. They get the first, and now they're gonna pull Crow. They use a lot of nukes for it, but Tumba Man actually managed to get the leap onto No oh, No, but he's gonna die. He's outside in range oh, of the Oracle. No. Liquid, they've lost to Roshan low enough that it will be a freebie for VGR. That'll be Aya Scotty. That'll be an Aegis. That might just be VGR beating Liquid 2-0 in this group stage. Got an Aegis. I think they've got every incentive to be the ones pushing high ground. There it is. Metamorphosis pop and is going to be leading here. Matumba Man already taking a lot of damage. They might just be able to force out the ult of the Oracle. They're going to be able to drag Mikasa back. If they don't do it fast enough, though, the BKB is going to go down. They managed to get the ensnare off, though. Mikasa turns around, gets a little bit more damage. Matumba Man heals right back up the Oracle open, and Oracle buys back. There goes the swap around of HP. Fought his left low enough. He has to go back to Fountain. Matumba Man. He has an opportunity at round two against end, but it's going to be a tough one with all this heal. Can he actually output enough damage? Oh, not when DDC comes in with the heck. The heals go off. DDC still alive somehow through all of that one, but so too is Matumba Man. A buyback there from Kuroki as he gets blown up by the finger of death, and VGR determined they've done enough damage to Liquid. They can't risk another pickoff. And so it's a position where HGR, they're just seeing if there are any openings in this Liquid wall. Liquid gonna play around their wards here and is gonna push forward, but Tumba Man gonna be hexed up. The Song of Siren goes down at the same time as the Oracle Ultimate. And again, it doesn't look like much is gonna come out of this one. Matumba Man even getting hit by the Song TDC is ready to go with the Enstable. And now with the physical damage, running into Matumba Man, he doesn't have a saving grace. Liquid full on retreat without their carry. Kuro, he's gonna lose his life as well, unable to complete his TP out. Two down, VGR confident as Liquid have no reprisal right now is they pretty much have to take this fight so they're just gonna make their way over very reluctantly so this is probably gonna be the last fight of the game for them as BGR they're taking this Roshan very quickly Liquid need a miracle they need to just go in right now no miracles on OG it's too late Aegis is already down, Mikasa gets an excellent initiation on two, he is going to be chased down by Matumba Man, he still has to be hit, what a stop there! Oh, the jump in from the supports, they just ripped Liquid apart, leaving Matumba Man as the cherry on top for FY to get the double, and there it is. Vici Gaming Reborn 2-0, Liquid in the group stage. That is going to be more than enough for them to call it as Liquid. Just kind of left in shambles as VGR all of a sudden. It seemed like at the beginning of the day there was going to be no way they were going to get into the top four. Now, what are they? I think reasonably 